Today we are hoping to learn more about the 18 year old taken into custody for allegedly shooting and killing his younger brother. Yeah, the teen says that it was an accident, but as of now, police aren't certain. Nick Monticelli is joining us live now this morning. And Nick, it's possible that he could be charged in this case today. Everett, good morning to you. Yes, that is a possibility. We know that this 18 year old spent hours almost the entire day yesterday talking to homicide detectives here at DPD headquarters. And if there is a decision to charge him, he could be arraigned today. 145 Wednesday morning and this home on Tennessee quickly became a crime scene. Inside, an 18 year old shot his 16 year old brother in the shoulder. Paramedics rushed the boy to St. John's Hospital. Unfortunately, he died on the operating table. The unidentified 18 year old is telling detectives this was an accident. He allegedly had his own handgun and was playing with it with his younger brother when it went off. But it wasn't just those two inside. There were other siblings, a 14, 12, and 8-year-old, and a newborn. Mom was in the hospital. The stepdad is in jail. Neighbor Harold Wallace says the family moved in about six months ago. Playing with guns. You know, they get to rambling around when they ain't no adult around, nothing like that. Find it, think it's a toy. You know, and they know better. They know better. And that could come into play very soon. If this was an accident, was it so negligent that it's a crime? Detectives are working with the prosecutor's office, which will decide if charges should be filed. In the meantime, a neighbor, a stranger, left flowers at the front door. Because even though I don't know him, but I still feel for him. You know what I'm saying? It's just sad because it's a kid. It's kids involved. Yeah. It's, it's real sad. All right, so those four other children have been taken out of the home and they are with other relatives right now. And again, this 18 year old, if the prosecutor's office decides to file charges, he could be arraigned sometime today. We are live at DPD headquarters. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. And we know you'll stay on top of this, Nick, but legally, though, when is an accidental shooting a crime? Can you break that down for us? Uh yeah, everyone, it all has to do with kind of intent and negligence. Did he intentionally pull the trigger? Was there a bullet in there? Was he drinking at the time? I just read a case out of Florida where a gentleman shot and killed his pregnant friend. He was spinning a gun around uh, on the trigger, but he didn't mean to pull the trigger. So even though the victim's family wanted him to be charged, the prosecutors there said they couldn't do it. So hmm. a lot of it has to do with what was the intent. Okay. All right, wow, Nick, a lot of questions. Thank you very much, Nick.